Hello there, it's John from the Big Town Emporium. I just thought I'd do a quick video on film cameras. We sell a lot of them, <coughs> mostly to young people uh, who've never used a film camera before. Quite often never even held a film camera before, uh, so they don't uh, really know where to start. So uh, I often have to give just a wee bit of uh, tuition, help them out to get them on their way, get them started snapping some, some photos. So uh, I just thought I'd do this, uh, this quick video uh, demonstrating how to load the camera, how to get the film into the camera and how to get it out again when, once you've used it um, and uh, hopefully some people will find it useful. If you find it useful let me know and uh, if you think there's anything else you'd like to know again let me know in the comments and maybe we'll do some more of these in the future. Anyway this is a standard 35mm SLR, this is a Pentax, but we, we sell mostly Japanese uh, SLRs, the Pentax, Canon, Olympus, uh, uh, Nikon and so on. Uh, they're very popular with young people and uh, they, they operate mostly the same way. So I'm just going to show you quickly uh, the film. So this is a film, 35mm film, 200 ASA, 24 exposures and uh, the film is spooled up inside the, the canister here. The canister is light tight, you see it's sealed along this edge so that no light can get to the film until you wind it across the front of the, the shutter here and the only light that gets onto it is what you allow onto it through the lens and through the shutter. Um, so anyway, how to get it in there. So we take the, the camera, take the little rewind lever here on the left, they're mostly all the same pop that up, get hold of it, pull it up and the back of the camera pops open. There we are. So space here for the canister and the take up spool as you can see is on this side. So what we do is we drop that in like so, pull the tail of the film over, slot it in. The take up spools can be different but you'll generally see there's a little slot and a tooth or so. To, to get the film into. Pop that in there and then we need to use the rewind lever to pull the film in. What's important at this point is uh, to make sure that the film and uh, the teeth of the, of, the wind, well, of the cog there register properly. That's it. So those are, so it's fine. Then we pop the back closed, make sure it's properly closed. Then we'll fire the shutter and just keep winding on. If you keep that, there's a, there's a counter there. So we get to one. Sorry, that's it. We're on one now. Go on. Now what I'll do is I'll just quickly fire through the 24 exposures on this particular film and then I'll show you how to remove the film from the canister. So off we go. So as you'll be able to see, there's a, a, a red, we've found a red number here, which is number 20, which is just warning us that we're coming uh, towards the end of the film. So we'll just fire on the last few. Sometimes you get more than 24 exposures out of film. Quite often you will. There we go. We're just, uh, we're on 24 now. 25, 26 we got out of that. And then that's it. It won't wind on any further. So we've come to the end of the film. Now, if you remember when we had the back of the film open, uh, the film canister is here, the take-up spool is here. So the film is now on this take-up spool at this side. If we were to open the back of the camera at the moment, light would get in, hit the film, destroy it, ruin it. So we need to get the film back into the canister before we open the back of the camera. So again, most cameras work in, in the same way. If you look on the bottom, there's a little button as we know, this one's a Pentax. Let's see what we've got here. I have uh, here a Nikon. Same button on the bottom, um, which is different. I've got an Olympus here, which is different. Olympus has a little button in the front. You twist that to R for rewind uh, and, and rewind it out. And some cameras, uh, I've got an old Canon here, uh, will have a lever on the bottom. So you put the lever to R. Uh, for rewind and then you're, you're going to rewind the film. So we'll show you again on the Pentax just what we're uh, doing here. So we'll open the 
rewind lever there when I do push with my thumb on, on the button and rewind you can feel the tension of the film coming back and you'll actually feel it come off the take up spool uh, when it gets to the end and hear it as well usually so there we go that was it so now we can safely open the back of the camera and there's our, our film you can wind the film r r all the way back in I tend to leave uh, the tail sticking out as soon as I hear it come off the take up spool I, uh, I pop it out because uh, I used to do all my own developing and uh, I always found it easier if I had the tail uh, sticking out of, the, of the, the canister to be able to load the film in the dark into the uh, developing tank um, if you're sending them off it doesn't matter there is a, a little tool you can get as well which if you wind it and you can slide it in it will pull the tail of the film out again for you or failing that you just pop the end off and take the spool out um, but anyway that's, uh, that's that so we've now got our, our exposed film can send it off to be developed or we can uh, develop it ourselves whatever the one thing uh, I forgot to show you it's already done here <laughs> but uh, the, the other thing you need to do is uh, with the, the camera this is a 200 ASA uh, film as you can see it on there uh, but there are lots of different films the number relates to the sensitivity the higher the number uh, the more sensitive the film is to light uh, most uh, cameras again they just have a little uh, knob knob here you lift up and adjust to whatever now that was 200 it was already there which is why I, I didn't think to say but, but I should have done we'll put that back on the on the 200 ASA you should always set that because that lets the the light meter inside the camera know what type of film you're using how sensitive it is and then it will give you the right information uh, through the viewfinder as to how your exposure is looking and well, I hope that was useful. If it was, please let me know in the comments. Uh, and if you if you feel uh, there's anything uh, else you would uh, you would like to know, uh, let me know, and we'll see. Maybe we can do another another one of these in the future. Okay, thanks very much for watching.